Hey guys, what is happening? So my wife and I have been looking for Airbnb properties to lease out and post on Airbnb. So we've been looking for tools. Hey, hold on. Actually, I can prove it. We've been literally like buying stuff and acquiring stuff. Um, hold on. Let me show you right back. Check out this lamp. Check out this lamp. Facebook Marketplace just snagged it. Hold on. Is this plant legit or what? I don't even ever have to water it. Pretty pumped about it. Cool, yeah, so we're getting ready and we're about to sign a lease on our first ever um, rental. That's actually a lease that we're signing to a property that we don't own. People call it uh, Airbnb arbitrage. I'm sure you've heard the term. So I was looking for tools, right? So we own one property in downtown Mobile already. And so I was looking for tools of, okay, great, what can help me manage the properties or what can help me analyze what are good deals and stuff like that. And so I came across this tool called AirDNA. The, um, the CEO, his name's Scott, can't remember his last name. He, um, he actually posted on, uh, on Quora, which is how I first heard about the, uh, the software. And really cool. So you can come in here and for free, so you can sign up for free and you can check out the what's called the rentalizer. And what you will see is you'll get to come in here, you'll put in your address. So here's mine from downtown. So you put in your address and then you click analyze your property. So you, I think you tell it what the property has. And so uh, here's the potential annual revenue, average daily occupancy rate, and this is actually pretty accurate for my property. It actually accommodates three is what we have. Let's see if that changes anything. Yeah, so it's giving you like a, a approximate kind of average of what, what, um, you know, what would be in your area. Now, one thing that you don't have if you don't use the paid version, so they have a paid version of the software, which um, it's monthly. So I'm thinking I'm actually going to use it for a month. Uh, you know, I may need to keep it. I may not, right? I may just need to come back and forth and kind of analyze areas um, over time. But so, you know, it didn't give me a grade by um, with the free version, but with the with the paid version, I was able to look at my area so if you're actually in my city, you're going to get some free some free information here. But um, so you can see the average daily rate, occupancy rate, uh, revenue. But what's cool, what I think is really cool, is you can kind of see the percentage of people that are renting out their entire home versus private room. How many people are renting on Airbnb versus home away, home away, which is VRBO, uh, or listing on both. You can see the room sizes. This is pretty interesting. The growth for the um, for properties in our area. Um, so something that if you look at this tool and you end up trying to use it for your market, like for my zip code, it was thirty nine ninety five a month. Uh, and I'm not paid by AirDNA. I don't have any affiliation. I just checked it out and thought it was really cool. So I wanted to show you the tool and just show you something that we're kind of using um, to kind of analyze areas and rental properties. So you can click on this top properties and you can sort it by different things that you want, right? So like annual revenue. Um, I, I don't think this data is correct for ours. I'm pretty sure that's way high. So I know their data is correct. I'm probably going to actually reach out to the CEO and just ask. Uh, because that's not the figure that I got from Airbnb. So, um, but what I find interesting is that, and this makes sense, right? That the top grossing properties with revenue are able to have multiple guests, right? So they charge a lot more per night, 245, 3, 173, and that's their average rates. Um, even this guy. So, and what's cool is that I thought my gut said, "Hey, you had to be in downtown right here in order to, uh, in order to make this work. Like you had to be way down in the downtown area." But in reality, some of these top grossing properties, you can see the little, see the little jumper purple thing on my screen. So that's where that property is located. The reality is that some of these properties are a little bit further west than downtown. So you'll see this is mine. So that's mine. That's in the heart of downtown are right on the edge of downtown and these are in what's called midtown. So interesting to look and realize and you can also see which ones are both on Airbnb and VRBO. 
this home is actually in my neighborhood where I live right now. And so it's one of the highest grossing uh, properties. It's beautiful. They're actually friends of mine. They redid the back. Uh, and you can, so from this, this um, software, you can actually click it if you want to, and it'll take you over to the listing itself on Airbnb. So, hey, Hannah. So you, know, you can check out this one and see the photos. It's really beautiful. And so that's one of the things you can do is you can look at these top grossing properties and you can say, okay, what do these guys have, you know, that I don't on my listing? Or what is it that they're doing that's so amazing? Um, maybe it's the photos. Maybe it's how they have it set up. Maybe it's some of their details. Um, and so, so that's a really, really cool thing. You know, how did, how did, how did she get 130 uh, reviews, five-star reviews? I only have like 50 or something like that. And so, um, you know, things that you can kind of ask by looking by looking at these different things. And so if you want to take the top properties and you can sort them by different things, right? So you could actually say in revenue, I could sort by reviews and say, okay, who has the most reviews? Wow. You know, these guys right here, 339 reviews. Like, that's amazing. And so that's when you might want to go in and say, okay, what are these guys doing? What is it that's that's giving them those reviews? Why? Why? Right. So, um, another part. Let's look over here. So in revenue, you can kind of see where the different percentiles land. Um, so you can click the 90th percentile and see what the what the 90th percentile what these people earn. So August has been really slow for us, but as you can see right here, this is August 2018. It's slower, right? So 90th percentile, I don't even know where we're, we're going to end up. We have, we've had very few bookings this August. And I don't know if it means that there's more competition. Uh, I don't know. I don't know the answer there for, for our market, but check this out. Historical market revenue. So, it, which makes sense. So earlier you saw where it showed a trend on the overview page where it showed the number of rentals increasing dramatically. But also the revenue is going up, which I take that to mean, I don't know what the revenue per house is. I don't know if that's data that's shown or whatever, but uh, it, so it shows that there's a trend, right? So if revenue is going up, obviously bookings are going up, right? So more people are using the platform. Uh, and this is tracking both Airbnb and uh, VRBO or HomeAway. So um, let's see, there may be, and so, oh, you can also input your own property. So you can attach your listing to it. So we have one listing on Airbnb. Here's our property. And so if you now you have to log in, you have to give them the link to your listing and then you have to give them like a, a special URL that only you could get by logging in. So you can't just like pop in anyone's um, anyone's property here, which is great. But then you can view the analysis. So my property revenue potential, average daily rate, occupancy, um, yeah, length of stay. So really interesting. I mean, you can go in and check out, check out these different things. Let's see what this one does. View property pricing. I'm not even sure what that does. Oh, so the, yeah, so they have a new feature with like market rates or recommended rates where you can actually see kind of some seasonality and stuff that's going on and make some decisions on your pricing based on that information that you find. So that's a really neat feature as well. So I just wanted to give you some kind of overviews. This isn't like a, um, a pitch for this software. Uh, honestly, I wanted to record something of me kind of talking about my own market and kind of going through it so that, um, so that I could come back and even view it at a later time. So here's that rental growth that I was talking about. Really interesting, the number of rentals, but also the amount of revenue is going up as well, kind of at a similar similar um, rate. So I'm curious to see what happens in our market with uh, the competition that we have and, uh, you know, uh, anyways, to see, see what happens, right? Do people stay in the market? If bookings get low, do they pull their, do they pull their property off of Airbnb? Um, I'd be really curious as well to see like what you guys with your properties, right? So I'd like to see what you're seeing in your marketplace. Comment down below if you already have a an Airbnb listing your property, your properties. Maybe you have 20 or more. I don't know that you that you own or that you lease or that you uh, work with owners on renting those out. I'd like to hear from you, kind of what your thoughts are in the marketplace and what's happening. And if you hadn't already, think about uh, subscribing to the channel. I'm all about. I think life and business is a giant adventure, 
and I'm all about living it. If something's exciting and I want to try it, I do it, and I think you should too. And hit the thumbs up button if you don't mind. If you've made it this far, that'll really help. It'll help other people to be able to see the video as well. And I really appreciate you, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks.